Hi everyone, so this is a part two to the other reading that I did, but you don't have to watch that other reading to understand what's going on in this reading because I wanted to look more into the, we're going to channel the gossiping aspect of this, of the storyline. Um, just to recap really quick, for those of you that don't want to watch the whole 40 minute reading, I mean there's a lot of good information in there, but anyway, basically I was getting that someone sabotage like a mother figure or an aunt or a friend someone that's very dominant very fake very controlling sabotaged a connection between two people they convinced a man that you know he shouldn't go for a woman like you that you know that's not his ideal type she might be trying to set him up with other women even um, and he's having these spiritual epiphanies as a result of what you're doing your healing energy your love your support, uh, just your energy, just who you are as a person is really helping him. You could even be like helping him with like truth and clarity, um, maybe like doing rituals to try to like help him like, um, cause I feel like whatever you're doing is positive, but you could even be doing like truth and clarity spells to like help him see the, the truth and help him make his own decisions because you want this man to make his own decisions. You don't want to make decisions for him. Um, you want him to see the truth for himself and decide for himself. You, you, you respect whoever I'm talking to. It's like you respect the natural balance of things. You're not trying to control him in any way. But anyway, I feel like, um, whatever it is that you're doing, just your energy being yourself, it's helping this man. It's helping him get out of this darkness, out of this karmic energy. It's helping him stand up to toxic controlling people. It's helping him think for himself and, decide what he wants for his own life, like who he wants to be with, what he wants to do. So he is leaving a toxic woman behind, whether it's a mother or a friend or even a, a partner. Um, but we're going to get into, because that, that, that reading ended up mostly being about like, you know, what's, what's going on behind the scenes with him, like what he's, you know, all these changes that are coming into his life. So, so I would recommend watching it if this is your storyline, but anyway, I want to get into the gossiping aspect of this because tell me more about that. Tell me about the gossiping. There is gossip and I've been feeling this energy for a couple of weeks. It's just like this energy of gossiping and there's like one person and it doesn't have to be male and female. It could be though for most of you, but I mean, it could be two men. It could be two women. Take it as it resonates. But since most, for most of you, I feel like it's a toxic woman and the man is the one that's kind of has been being misled. Um, I feel like the woman is a bad person, honestly, just straight up. I don't, there's not a good way to say it. I feel like she's very fake. She's very shallow. She's very controlling. She's dominant, but not in positive ways. She's dominant in the sense of just wanting to just like a, how do I explain that energy? Explain her energy to me. She doesn't want to wait for anything or work for it or anything. She feels like she might feel if she's like attractive, I feel like she feels like she shouldn't have to wait because she's cute or she feels like she, um, how do I explain this? Just entitled is the word that's coming to mind. I feel like with all those cards about loss too, I feel like this woman could even be taking a lot of losses right now or she's about to because she has a lot of bad karma coming in for what she's done because she sabotaged innocent people. She's hurt innocent people. This this is high school bully energy. This, this is honestly high school bully energy. Um, yeah, I feel like she's about to go through some losses if she's not already. She's, she's, and she's going to try to weasel her way out of it. So I feel like this woman is manipulative. She's used to being able to use her looks to get what she wants or to seduce her way out of it or to very cutesy. You know what I mean? Um, you, you can't do that with spirit guides. You can't do that with spirit guides. I feel like she's going to get, I'm, and, and when I, when I talk like this, I'm channeling, I'm not just talking random, you know, crap or whatever. Like I'm, I'm getting the information from my spirit guides. They're letting me know what's going on. Like I'm feeling the energy. Sometimes I get visuals or I can just, I kind of just know, um, I'm clairsentient and claircognizant. So 
But anyway, I just, I feel like she's almost going to blame people for the losses that she's going to take. And it's actually going to be spirit guides that are coming down. There's divine intervention. There's divine intervention um, for what this woman has done. And there's, there's a warning to this man as well, because he doesn't want to get caught up in her bad karma. And he'll see it. He'll see it happening too. His spirit guides will like let him know that this is the truth. Like that what I'm saying is the truth. I mean, his spirit guides, like, you know, he might not be watching this video. Like there, there's multiple men in this, in this, you know, energy group. But what I'm saying is like his spirit guides will show him like he will. I don't know if he'll have dreams about it or because he is going through a psychic awakening. So he might actually have dreams or just these realizations from his spirit guides, these epiphanies. But I also get this energy of like, um, like he's going to see her going through some shit and it's going to be like unusually bad luck. Like it's going to be like, she's like needing him for stuff more than ever. Like she's like constantly like dependent on him, constantly like asking him for favors. Like that's going to come in is what I'm feeling. Like she's going to tell me about this. We're going to get into the gossiping part too, because there is a, there is something like there is some warnings there that I need to get into for you guys. Whether you're this man or you're the woman that was, you know, had had it sabotaged for, you know, had this connection sabotaged. Yeah, he's going to stick to his own path. He's going to, he might be sad over this loss, but he's not going <coughs> to. She's going to try to call, come in and cause illusions. I don't think it's going to work, though. I think. I think he's going to be the top. He's going to have justice. He's going to be the dominant one. She's used to being dominant and controlling his life. He's going to be the emperor now. He's learning. He's coming. This man is coming into his emperor energy. So he's going to, she's going to try the same gaslighting shit, the same, like, she might have like tactics that she uses to get him to do what she wants. So like, if it's a mother, for example, I feel like she probably tries to, um, like, oh, like, I'm, I'm seeing like a woman like in a wheelchair. That's for someone in here. Again, there's there's multiple people in this energy group. So there might be little details here and there that are for someone else. But I'm seeing like a woman like in a wheelchair or her leg is hurt somehow. And she's like, oh, I need to ride to the doctor. I need this and that. And like she doesn't actually like he knows that she, he, he's, he's smarter than that now. He knows she doesn't need that ride. Like she has paratransit or whatever. Um, or it's like a friend and like she's asking for favors or she's like trying to be cute with him and like, oh, let's go out like old times. Like, let's go do this or that. Like, let's go to this old spot we used to hang out with. And like, he's going to know he's going to see through confirm that he's going to see through the manipulation this time around. He's going to be like, no, I know that. Yeah, the world. He's ending that cycle. His spirit guides are bringing him the information and she I, I bear with me guys bear with me because I do need this is important for someone because I know there's like people that are like and I'm not just saying that to get views but like honestly there's something important in the about the gossiping that someone needs to know so like because I feel like someone's like busy and they're like do I want to watch all this like you need to know something about the gossiping it's something that you don't whoever I'm talking to it's something you don't know you need to you need to hear that part so bear with me guys and I don't usually say that in my readings so but um she this woman is narcissistic I think because it's almost like I just keep seeing her like trying to find loopholes she's gonna keep trying to manipulate this man it's almost like she's trying to go past it's like he has he's over here he's got you know this woman that actually cares about him protecting him and he's got all these spirit guides protecting him and this little narcissist narcissist over here is like, how can I get past all these spirit guides? And how can I get past this woman that actually does have his back and wants to protect him? She's over here. She's like plotting. Like, what do I like? How do I send a message without people seeing? How do I um, how do I talk to him? Like, how do I uh, how do I manipulate him? And it's like she's going to feel uneasy doing it because and this is probably somebody he has a long history with, I would say. Because she knows him well enough to know how to manipulate him. She knows, like, this is like a mother or a friend he's had for years and years. It's something like that. Because she knows, like, what to say or do to manipulate him. And so I get, like, a nervous energy from her, though, because it's almost like she's not really very psychic. But I think even, even with her very, you know, minuscule, like, amount of psychic ability, I feel like she can still kind of sense 
these spirits. She, he's got a lot, like a huge, huge amount of spirit guides around him right now, protecting him from her. Um, and she's, she's going to piss them the fuck off by trying to, man, trying to get past them. She's so narcissistic. She's nervous. I feel that she's so narcissistic that I feel like she's going to try to, um, she's going to try to sneak past them anyway. She's going to try to like, you know what I mean? Like, like manipulate him somehow. She's trying to figure out how to get past them. So, and, and she's, she's going because she's very 3d. She's very like, you know, very connected, very materialistic, shallow, fake connected to the physical world. She doesn't know what she's messing with. She's got like a whole army in front of her, this invisible army. She can't see it's not going to go well for her. And I feel like she's going to start blaming other people because she's going to start seeing that the more she tries to break him apart from people that, you know, he loves, that love him back, the more she tries to sabotage his career, his relationships, whatever it is she's trying to sabotage could be different for everyone. The more she tries to weasel her way past his spirit guides and, and control him and dominate him, the more her life is going to get fucked up. And she's not the type of person that can take accountability, so I think she's going to blame other people. Because she's going to start losing money, um, start, lo you know, people in her life might start seeing past her, like her spirit guides might even go to like other people in her life and protect them too. And be like, look at, look at wh who this person is. She might start like, she's going to have a lot of bad karma to deal with because of her manipulation. And she's going to have to learn the hard way. Like, yeah, you can do stuff in the physical. You can text this man, you can manipulate people, but you don't want to fuck with spirit guides. These spirits are the ones that are really in control. They they see this woman as a little girl. Like they are a million times more powerful than her. So it's like, yeah, she can lie, she can gossip, she can she can choose to go down that karmic path and do this shit. But it's it's don't be surprised if the next day it's like your your boyfriend breaks up with you or the next day, you're, you know, the next week, you're, you, you start losing friends or money or whatever. It's like, they're the ones, the spirit guides are the ones that are in control. The higher, the higher realms, they see all of it. There is no hiding from them either because they know her intentions. They know her heart. They know her energy. They can tune in. So if she's just trying to find that loophole, if she's just trying to manipulate, it's going to piss them off. And you guys, if you're in this energy group, I honestly come back and tell me too, please, because I'm curious. But I honestly, what I'm feeling is that you will see evidence of this. Like you will see this girl like. Uh, like like she goes from like having like a loving boyfriend and having all this, you know, this fake power, this dominance to like to just being stressed to, to just, I don't know. Like, yo, I just, I just feel like you're going to see physical evidence of it. And I don't feel like this is someone who's just been in a state where they've been alone or like they've been going through stuff and like they're, you know, maybe working out some karmic cycles, but they're still a good person. Like, it's not that kind of energy. This is like, this is someone who does seem to have everything. Like they have the loving boyfriend or the husband or they have the the family, they have the um the money, the 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 success, like everyone loves them, like like very fake shallow energy, like maybe even like an influencer or something like that. This is like someone who feels like they're doing well and it's going to the rug is going to be ripped out if they keep going on this like this like divine the divine is intervening there's divine intervention here basically again you can't weasel your way past spirit guides because they can see you they it doesn't matter if you if you go hide in the closet and you send someone a, a, a toxic text messages or or try to manipulate them they see the text message your spirit the, you know the spirit guides see those text messages they see your intentions they feel your energy they speak in terms of energy more than anything so they can feel what this woman's intentions are so there's no there's no way to weasel past them but anyway let's get into the gossiping part of this I, I feel like, hold on, let me, let me see, hold on. The moon, king of cups. 
He had to hide this side of himself from her. Okay, he pretended like... In the past, he pretended like he was over you. So, and again, you, whatever role you fit in, like if you're, you could be this King of Cups or you could be, for most of you, I think you're probably this, this woman that's dealing with this, that was unfairly, um, you know, targeted or unfairly separated from, from this King of Cups. So I'm just going to speak to you, you know, place, you know, whatever role you're in, but I'm just going to speak to you as if you're this woman dealing with this King of Cups. But anyway. I feel like this energy, I've been feeling this for a couple of weeks, this energy of gossip, and it's kind of like what we're getting in the last reading, where he's trying to sneak away from her quietly. It's like he's going through all these huge changes, but he's not telling her. He's having these epiphanies, but he's not letting this toxic woman know because he knows she's just, he can, he's starting to see through her more and more and see how manipulative she is. Um... He's going to really, this King of Cups is going to really want to stay away from this because this woman has such bad karma coming for her and she has, she's pissed off these spirit guides so much that he's not, because she might try to rely on him when this happens. When this goes down, she might reach out to him more and more or try to manipulate him. She's going to, she's going to try harder, I feel. Um, he does not want to get dragged into her bad karma because I feel like it's just going to, sorry hold on he does not want to get dragged into her bad karma because I feel like it's just gonna um it, it's gonna come back on him it's not gonna be good for him like it's he might end up taking on some of her bad karma and and having to go through I don't know how to explain it It's like the train is, cr no, I shouldn't say the train is crashing. That sounds fucked up. Um, the tower is coming down, you know, does he want to be in there when that happens or does he want to get out of there? Like it's, it's, it wouldn't be wise to, to be in there. I do feel like this man, this is what I'm getting with this gossiping. I kind of feel like he told her like, uh, again, this man is going through a spiritual awakening. He is doing better. He is seeing that he wants bet like deeper, more real connections. He doesn't want to be around these fake people. So I feel like for most of you, and there's different timelines, but for most of you, this is a past energy. But in the past, when he was in that energy of, you know, caring about what everyone thinks, uh, prioritizing everyone else above himself, like, you know, going with going with the in crowd, going with what's popular caring about his image so much. I feel like he told her it was over with her, with you. I feel like he told her that it was over with you and that he, you know, was building somewhere else. Like he was interested in someone else or that he wasn't entertaining you anymore. They might've even talked about someone else like, oh, like, you know, uh, yeah, I like this other girl. Like, I think I'm going to go for that. And she was all on board. Maybe it was like a girl that she knew or something like that. And she's like, yeah, you should be with that girl. I agree. You shouldn't be with this other girl from the past. And basically what I feel is he pretended like he didn't have feelings for you to keep this woman happy. He, um, she's about to get exposed and there's no way to hide from it. And honestly, damn, I, th these readings are intense. Like when I get this kind of energy, cause like, I really feel like these spirit guys are pissed. And if she tries to hide from it, they're going to make it worse for her. Like, she's getting exposed no matter what she does, no matter what she says, this woman's getting exposed. But I honestly feel like it's going to be, if she tries to manipulate her way out of it, it's going to be even worse for her. I think that's why this man is being warned to not to... He's going to end up having bad karma for gossiping with her. Because I hate to say it, but honestly, in the past at least... Um, and, and again, different timelines for some, this is what's currently going on. And that last reading I did is the future energy that he's most likely going to come into for others. I feel like this is the past energy and it's like, he's already in that energy of like spiritual awakening and epiphanies and like not doing this anymore with her. So, you know, whatever timeline you're on, it's going to be different for everybody. 
I mean, whatever, um, you know, same timeline, I guess, but it's, it's going to be different, um, where you're at on it. Um, he's going to end up having bad karma for gossiping with her. If he doesn't stop his spirit guides, no, you might not know that he's been gossiping. You might know though, you might know when you might be playing dumb, like you might be able to feel it or sense it, or you can just kind of tell that something's off when they're together or there's some kind of energy that's just weird. You, you, I feel like you might know somehow, but he's, he's going to have bad karma for gossiping with her if he doesn't stop because she actually is a bad person. She actually is negative and a high school bully type. And I feel like she rubs off on him. And I feel like even though he's a king of cups deep down, I feel like he acts like a high school bully when he's with her. Or he like embodies those traits, like like her personality kind of rubs off on him where he starts acting like a bully with you know around her. Or he starts gossiping more around her. He starts being more fake around her when that's not who he really is. But being a full grown man, he has to take accountability for that. If he the ship is going down, if he stays on it with her, he's going down with her. He's going to have that bad karma with her if he wants to keep up this cycle, if he chooses to continue gossiping. Because I, I do feel like, I do feel like she was in his face about you a little bit. Not like, I don't know, like maybe in a dramatic way, but not necessarily. It could have just been like giving him bad advice, which is readings we've gotten in the past. And I feel like, let me see. I just, I just keep getting this energy of gossip. Like, I think he didn't want to deal with it. So I think he told her that he wasn't talking to you anymore or that he didn't like you. He might have even talked shit about you. He might have honestly even talked shit about you so that she wouldn't catch on to him and so that she wouldn't, like, you know, be nosy about it or ask about you. Like, maybe he was tired of her asking about you or tired of her... Um, like, like he didn't want her to give him any more bad advice and get in his head about you, something like that. So I feel like they kind of talk shit together. He's like, oh, yeah, like, I don't I don't like her, actually. Like, I don't like her anymore. Or she does this or she does that or or like he agrees with her. I think it's also just like agreeing with her. Like, I feel like she talks shit about you. Like she says, like, oh, this woman's uh, what, what does she say about you? What does she give me? Hold on. That he should move, that, you know, that he should move away from you, that, um, yeah, with a tower, maybe that you're, uh, she might even project her own traits onto you and try to convince him that you're the one that's like that when it's her. She might be like, oh, yeah, she's pretty, but, you know, it's the tower, there's drama with her, um, or she would mess her life up, or she, she seems, uh, like, like, I bet there's, you know, I bet she has like a lot of hidden drama or I bet she has a lot of um, chaos in her life or it's like, and maybe you're going through something. Maybe you're like depressed or you're going through something and she's like misunderstanding it and she's just talking shit like, oh yeah, that, that woman just seems like she just wants attention or she's just a negative person or this or that, or she's going to mess your life up. And it's like almost like it's almost like it's her own traits that she's projecting for some too, or she's misunderstanding you or whatever. But anyway, I feel like he knows better at this point or he's going to in the near future, but I feel like he doesn't want to, she is more dominant than him or she was in the past at least. And so he doesn't want to disagree with her. So I feel like he just kind of, um, goes along with it. He's like, oh yeah, I see that in her. I, I know what you mean. Like, I think she's dramatic too, or I think she would mess my life up too, or I think she's fake too, or like he, he like agrees with her. The thing is though, but he doesn't actually agree with her. He doesn't actually feel that way about you. He's just saying it to keep her happy. He doesn't want to deal with it. He's just, you know what I mean? He's just saying whatever, just to, to get her to go away, to get her to shut up about it, to get her to, you know, so that she doesn't catch on to him so that she doesn't realize that he actually does have real feelings for you. Um, I 
the thing I just I, the past couple of weeks I've been feeling this and I keep hearing caught up someone's gonna get caught up this woman oh, hold on this woman's being exposed Ooh, this woman's being exposed he's gonna look like shit with her if he keeps up with the gossiping like he's gonna end up looking really bad too and this could be like like a higher up, someone hears them gossiping. Could be a spirit guide, but it could be someone in the physical that's like, what like what are you doing gossiping about this other person? Like, what are you doing gossip? Like, I know that person. They're not like that. What are you like? They're gonna look really bad in front of someone that's superior to them. Now, this could be like at a job, like someone who's in like a higher position, like a manager or a boss. Could be just in like a friendship group, just someone that's um maybe a little bit like higher ranking than them but there's something about like someone of higher ranking whether it's a spirit guide or someone in the physical is going to overhear this they're not going to be too happy someone yeah the devil Yeah, because someone is going to have, there's a king of wands that could even be like a fire sign or someone that's very like a leader, passionate, charismatic, that's going to have this queen of cups back. He's going to realize that she's innocent. He's going to realize that she is, she's being bullied or she's being talked about. Um, he's going to recognize this devil energy and someone, some superior is going to have his back and he's going to want to bring healing into this situation He's going to, yeah, he's going to have a new perspective too. This could even be like maybe in the past they actually did convince this man that like there was something wrong with you and he's going to see what's really going on and there's going to be a tower moment where he's like, oh, hell no. Like you did not lie to me. Like, uh, no, uh-uh. Yeah, this, someone's going to find out, some higher up is going to find out what th that these two people are gossiping. Um, so this man needs to, this man that's gossiping just to keep her happy, just to keep this toxic woman, like from realizing how he feels about you and, and keeping her in the dark because he doesn't want to deal with the drama. He needs to stand up for himself. He needs to stand up for you too. He needs to cut her out. He needs to, um, he needs to be stronger than that because I just keep hearing exposed. He's going to get exposed. So if he doesn't like stand up to her soon I mean if he doesn't like stand up to her and stop gossiping soon I just feel like there's someone that's going to overhear that conversation there's someone that's going to like find out that they're talking shit and they're really not going to be happy about the bullying they're going to be like I don't want that kind of bullying in this environment or again if it's like a spirit guy the spirit guy is going to be like oh no like you're not like, he, there could be, like, a spirit guy that's watching this man to see if he does the right thing. And if he doesn't do the right thing soon, it's, like, he's going to kind of just go down with her. He's going to end up having bad karma for talking shit with her. Because it's unfair to this woman that's being talked about. Um, but there's truth is going to be revealed. There, there There's going to be, someone's going to be exposed. This woman, this, this toxic woman is going to be exposed for how fake she is, how shallow she is, how she talks shit, how she bullies innocent people. Um, and if this man stays in that energy with her, he's going to look just like her. People are going to, people are going to turn against this woman. And if he stays in the energy with her, he's, people are going to be like, oh, he's obviously just like her. He's obviously fake like her. He's obviously shallow like her. He's obviously just a, you know, a high school bully type, just like she is like, they're going to see them as a pair. You know what I mean? Like this woman is about to look like the truth is going to be revealed. She's going to be exposed. People are going to see who she really is. And anyone that that wants to continue gossiping with her and, and continue entertaining that energy is going to look just as bad as she looks. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching.